viewers, welcome to the Islam Tribune. You are watching Superfast 10. I'm Manisha and here are the top 10 stories of the day. A tense situation erupted along the India Bangladesh border at Karim Ganj on Friday. The incident occurred reportedly during Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma's visit to the district. Reportedly, Bangladesh nationals at the Jaki Ganj immigration post opposite the Karim Ganj immersion. Khat used loudspeakers to raise provocative slogans against India, intensifying concerns over relations between the two nations. Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma currently on a three-day tour of Barag Valley's visited Silchar Medical College and Hospital on Saturday to evaluate the institution's administrative and treatment facilities. However, his visit was met with a significant protest by casual employees of the medical facility. Over 300 casual workers gathered to, to demand the regularization of their employment and an increase in their salaries. A suspect in a case of molestation of a woman was shot at by the police while attempting to flee custody in Tejpur. The incident unfolded on August 23 when two miscreants allegedly molested a young woman during her evening work in the Gutlung area of Tejpur. Alerted by bystanders, locals managed to nab one of the accused, Shahrukh Hussain, who was promptly handed over to the police. The second suspect, Miraz Ali, managed to flee the scene. The Assam police has launched an extensive search operation to apprehend two of the three accused involved in the gruesome rape of a minor in Nogal's Dhing. Over the last 36 hours, the police have conducted several raids in areas adjacent to Dhing and activated their intelligence sources to track down the suspects. Confirming the raids on Saturday, Nogao SP Swapnanil Deka stated that the police have been combing the area and expressed optimism that the accused would soon be behind bars. As the outcry over the gang rape of a minor in Nogao continues to cause chaos, another distressing case of abuse has emerged from Dorang district. According to police, a 13-year-old girl, a, cl a class 8 student from Dekargao in the Mangaldai police station area was subjected to repeated sexual abuse by a neighbor exploiting the victim's economic vulnerability and the recent loss of a father. The accused lured, the, lured and sexually abused her, resulting in her pregnancy. The Nagaland government has hinted at the possibility of partially lifting the Nagaland Liquor Total Prohibition Act of 1989. This potential shift is expected to be discussed during the monsoon session of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly scheduled from August 27 to 29. In response to the government's announcement, the Nagaland Baptist Church Council has urgently called for a statewide prayer reflecting deep concern over the potential relaxation of the liquor ban. A standard operating procedure for the transportation of coal brought from outside Meghalaya to be further transported to other states or countries has been drafted by Justice retired BP Kataki. SOP has been drafted because there were allegations that illegally extracted coal from Meghalaya is being shown as coal brought from outside the state. Justice Kataki is the one-man committee appointed by the High Court of Meghalaya to oversee the controversial coal transportation from Meghalaya. Chief of Army Staff General Upendra Dwivedi on a two-day visit to Manipur met with Chief Minister N. Biren Singh at the Chief Minister's official residence on Friday. The visit is regarded as a significant move towards restoring peace and normalcy in the state, which has been plagued by ethnic violence since May 2023. Train operations have been allowed in a newly laid track between Bhairabi and Hortoki, part of the Bhairabi Sairang New Line Railway project, which will put Mizoram capital Aizol on the railway map. Commissioner of Railway Safety Sumit Singhal authorized operation of freight and passenger trans in the 16.725 km board gauge line between Bhairabi and Hortoki on Thursday. India's season opener Shikhar Dhawan on Saturday announced his retirement from international and domestic cricket. The 38-year-old brought the curtains down on his illustrious career by taking to the social media and sharing an emotional message to announce his decision. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Tune in again at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.